So, hello. My name is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Try to spell it. You cannot. So, Bezat Hashem, but still, my name is Dror Moshe Kasuto. And we're going to try to answer some interesting questions that people have about peace in the house. We're going to have five episodes. And Bezat Hashem, if you're going to like that, you're going to be able to see more from that amazing information that's been learned by the wisdom, ancient wisdom of Rabbi Nachman in Breslev. So, one student of mine asked me, what should I do when my wife, she's cursing me in front of the children? Nice question. So, the answer is even more interesting. From what that we learned, if you still think that your wife it's your wife, so you have a problem. You need to believe that everything that happens to you in your life, it's all coming from the Creator. The Lord, Hashem Itbarach, He Himself is talking to you. He's holding the mic and speaking to you through His wonderful speakers. He's got speakers in the house, He's got speakers in the street. He's got speakers inside of you. It calls the Yetzer Hara. It's the devil that is saying bad things to you. It's also Hashem. The Creator is talking to you through a lot of curtains. He's hiding himself and he's talking to you. And the test that you're in in that moment is only if to believe and to remember the Creator, or chas shalom, to fall to that imagination of this world, to think, to blame, it's my wife. It's that person, it's the police officer, that guy from work is making me suffer so much. It's not him. It's not her. The one that is cursing you now in your house, screaming at you, humiliating you, chasing after you with things and breaking things in the house, it's Hashem. Yes, it's the Creator. He wants to show you that you have something to fix. And until you're going to fix it, you're going to take the responsibility on yourself. You're going to admit. You're going to say, I am mean. I am cruel. I am not sensitive. I really don't care about no one else in this world except of my own selfish self. And I don't care about nothing else. Until you're going to come to that point that you're going to admit and you're going to confess on that in front of the Creator. You're going to tell Him, Riboyno shel oylam, I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to be vicious. I want to be sensitive. I want to care. I want to love. There are going to be judgments on you. Until you're going to come to that point of humiliation, that you're going to be humble, that you're going to accept the rebuke because you believe that it's coming from the Creator, only then all judgment's going to be cancelled and the anger and frustration that you had in your life going to transfer and going to become to be love, going to be kindness in your house, going to have peace in your house. The house that people respect each other, it's house of faith. Only if you believe that all of those rebukes are coming straight from the Creator, that He also loves you, and He wants to rebuke you, to help you to fix yourself, to work on your attributes, that you also are going to have them married to purify yourself and to fix yourself, that in the world to come, you're going to be able to stand up and to be proud and to be happy. And to say to Hashem Ibrah with smiling face, Oh, I'm so happy to see you, Hashem. I was waiting to see you. I love you. And you will not going to be ashamed from all of your lackings, from all of your shortcomings, from all of your problems, from all of the sins, from all of the defects. You're just going to be able to stand up straight, to remember your name, and to say, It's me that I was serving you all of my life that I dedicated my life to you, the Creator, that I loved you, and that I helped other people to love you too. Bezat Hashem, with help of heaven, we're going to finish now, but not before that we're going to let you taste a little bit from what that we're going to ask and answer, hopefully, in the next time we're going to meet.
Next time, we're going to discuss those crazy, crazy wild situations that you are putting all of your effort to please your wife, to please your children, to fulfill your obligations, to be the best one that you can be. But still, you're not answering and satisfying no one. You're not able to please them. What are you doing in those moments when you're tired, when you're weak, when you're working for 12 hours and you just came and you just need to rest for 5 minutes and you're not gonna? What are you gonna do then? If you want to hear an answer to all of those amazing, crazy situations that we have in our lives, first of all, you can subscribe to our amazing site, amonachannel.com. And if you want, you can find us in Facebook, in YouTube, in Twitter, Bezrat Hashem. You can find us very easily today and enjoy the wonderful wisdom of Rabbeinu HaKadosh, Rabbi Nachum Nibreslev. Thank you very much. From